Yo, welcome to Club Ep9. My name is Harry and I will be your host for today. Okay, let's go right inside. So today we're going to be talking about how to set real queue trading parameters. This is very, very important to um, to you if you're using real queue to trade the cryptocurrency market. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel and um, make sure you like this um content if you like it and also share with your friends so let's go right inside and understand how everything works so before you watch this video make sure you've activated your real queue make sure you bind your real queue with either your hubi or your um, binance exchange okay now number one is to select your coin okay we also have other videos okay that covers for um other functions such as an um, overview of real queue itself, how to activate, how to bind your account. Okay, but today we are going to focus on the um, trading parameters, how to set your trading parameters. And this is very important for any trader that wants to use real queue to trade the cryptocurrency market. So let's go to quantitative. Okay, so let's select any of this coin. Let me just select the coin that I'm not trading, but I'm going to be using this to explain how the trading parameter works so the first one here we have position amount that's the amount of usdt that the bot has already purchased then the next one is the um, position quantity that's the total number of quantity you bought of that particular coin now we're talking about ada now okay the next one is average price this is the price that um, the bot want to take profit for you. Okay, from this average price, you'll be seeing the blue, okay, the blue button, the blue color when trading. That shows you are in profit. Okay, that that starts immediately after your average price. Anything below your average price is floating loss. Anything above your average price is what floating profit. So that's basically how it is. Then the next one is current price okay the current price of that particular coin at that time okay so the current price of ada is 2.062 at the current price of ada then now the next one is number of call margin okay as the as the market drops as the coin drops in value okay we will set margin calls and the bot will tell us how many margin calls that and the bot has bought based on the coin movement Okay, then the next one is rates and return rate. Okay, this will show either you are in profit or you are in floating loss. Okay, and um, we already know here that um, on real key, you don't make loss. The bot will never sell your trade in loss. Okay, when you are in floating loss, you can wait for the market to rebound. While the market is trying to get its balance, then you can wait for it to take profit for you. So as we go in, you will understand how other um, information works so that everything can work all together. So the one here is we have cycle. Okay. So before I explain all this, I would like to go in and see how everything works. Another thing we need to know here is first preset buy in price. Okay. You can decide to say, okay, when the market get to the current price is 10. Okay. You can decide to say when it drops to 8 buy automatically you can tell the bot to buy at that level or if the price is the current price is at 10 you can decide to tell the bot to buy when it gets to the top let's say 12 or 15 and the bot will actually trigger when the price get to that um place okay so this here is an overview okay of your settings so let's go right in and see how to set the trading parameters and i will also explain how everything works the first one is your buying amount, first buying amount, okay, $10. So it all depends on your capital. It could be 100, okay, it could be 500, it could be 1000. It all depends on you, okay. Then we have an um, open position doubled. Now, anything you say, it, you can double it. So it means when you're getting profit, you're getting double profit. That's simply what it means. So we always off it, but for now, let's off it. The margin calls, this is the number of times you want the bot to buy, okay, in different percentage. You know, as the market moves 
down or up is in percentage. But now with the margin call, the margin call focus on the downtrend when the market is what is going down. That's when it's um, below your buy, buying price. If your buying price is 10, if the coin is going minus 9, minus 8, minus 7, then you can use the margin call to track that. Okay, when it gets to minus 9, buy. When it gets to minus 8, buy. When it gets to, okay. So that's how margin gate theory works. Then I will show us how to set it. So the margin call can be any amount, okay, any um, figure. So it could be 20. It could be 200 but you know okay the maximum is 100 that's the maximum that's why it's showing us so when i put 200 it changes automatically okay in the hand you can see that so the maximum you can go here is 100 but we are not doing 100 we're doing let's say seven okay but i was I will, at least if you can understand the seven it um applies to all the way down don't worry you're covered so your whole position take profit is 1.1 or 1.3, whichever way. That's the difference. The default setting that came with the bot is 1.3. So let's leave it like that. Then all position take profit callback. Okay. This is 1.5. Then I will explain what it means. Okay. Yeah, 0.3. Now, what this simply means is If the market, if the coin go up, um, if the coin get to 1.3%, okay, hold my profit. You, you see that? Hold the profit. If you put it to 2%, when it gets to 2%, hold the profit, okay? So, in case the market continues to appreciate in value, just in case. But when it gets to minimum of 1.3, okay? The robot will hold the profit. It will just hold on to it. Now, when the second one, which says all position take profit call back, so this is telling us that if the market or if the coin drops by zero point five, okay, or zero point three, let's put zero point three there. Three, yes, that's fine. Now zero point three. It means if it drops by zero point three, sell the profit you are holding. That is. How what how it works it's as simple as that okay so the next one is margin configuration now as i explained earlier that a margin configuration is number of buy as the market goes on the on the lower trend as it's going on the downtrend it's buying so we have to determine how you want it to buy okay so this is where you configure it because can you see now so we can say here the first buy the first call okay should be one percent okay the second call you can say when it drops by another two percent okay so now here is number of buy multiple buy in ratio okay you can buy 10 you can buy two, depending on your capital okay but your first buy okay times if it is two times two that's 20 it means you're telling the bot that when, when it drops by one percent it should buy twice okay now that buy twice is going to use your first buying price Okay, to determine the amount it's going to take from your USDT. Okay, if your um, first buy is 20 and you put 2 here, you're simply telling the bot to buy $40. So 20 times 2, that's 40. If, it is, if your first buy is 10, if you put 2 here, then you're simply telling the bot to buy twice, which is going to buy what? 20 USDT. That is how that works. Okay. So as the market drops, you can you know instruct the um, bot to buy more. So let's say if this drop by three percent, okay, buy eight times. If, the, if this drop by four percent, buy sixteen times. If this drop by five percent, buy thirty-two times. So this is just like the basic settings, okay, for Royal Q. And as it drops, if you can buy like this, you will make a lot of profit. So here you're saying um, six. So if it, if it drops by six percent, let it buy sixty-four times. Now this um, 
setting is not fixed okay you can modify it the way you want it the way you understand it okay if you understand the market structure very well you can modify it so here if you say seven percent okay seven percent you can say buy 128 and that means 10 times 128 so if you have the amount in your wallet you can leave it the way it is so but if you don't have that amount you can configure this buy amount of buying time or amount um multiple buy in ratio to the um total amount you want the coin to buy based on this particular coin because you can trade more than one coin okay so you can try to say okay buy twice okay buy twice two times buy two times you can do it like that if you like buy two times okay So here too, you can see buy two times. If that is how you want to set it, just understand the basic explanation. So you can go all the way down, okay? Then you confirm. And another one I want to explain to us is the subbeam mode. Though we have a separate video for that, you can request for the video. But I will just explain in brief. Now the first margin call to fourth margin call, they are group one. That's that's one warehouse, okay? Then from fifth call. All the way down to 100 that they are all independent so as the market drops and when the market is going back up it will be giving you profit independently as the market is appreciating in value okay when it's going down it's already buying okay as it's buying is helping you to what to secure your investment so as it's buying it simply means it's acquiring more coins acquiring more coins so by the time the market is going up Okay, he's selling, and the way and as he's selling, is giving profit. Okay, and he's selling based on what it has bought. So if you are using O warehouse, then to calculate L the warehouse, either is ten, either twenty, either fifty, that all this margin call. Okay, it combines everything together. But if you are using what we call subbeam mode, okay, then it will operate the first four as group one, then um, fifth call group and um, group two. Sixth call group three, seventh call group four. You understand that is how it basically work. And then um, from group five, from the fifth call, it, it takes profit independently. They all have their own take profit, okay. But from the first call to the fourth call, their take profit will be one point three. That's why we have the the next one, which is distributed and take profit allocation allocation. So when you click on it. Can you see it from the fifth, sixth, seventh? Can you see that? So it's simply telling us that it's going to be taking profit. Okay, at it's going to be taking one point three percent profit. Then the next one is okay. Buy in back. Now, if you put this trade on cycle, if it sells, okay, after selling, after you take profit for you after selling, it buys back again. So that's why we have 0.5. You're simply telling the board that when it drops by 0.5, buy back. If it doesn't drop, it will not buy. Until it drops by 0.5, then it will not buy back. If you're on cycle trade. But if you're on one shot, you're simply telling the board that after selling, don't buy anymore. Okay? So let me show us. So the um, sub position take profit callback. So they all have this is this one will work for all of them. Okay, for from the fifth all the way to hundred. Okay, so when we let's go back. Okay, save this. Okay, then the next what we need to explain is this cycle. As I explained earlier, that if is on cycle. Okay, it simply means you want it to buy back after selling selling the take getting to take profit. When you get to take profit, and the bot has already sold. Okay, and we made profit to your account. Then, if it's on cycle, you're telling the bot to buy again when it drops by 0 0.5. Okay, so you can sell manually when you are in profit. We always encourage that um, whenever you are trading with a real queue, okay, don't sell in floating loss because that's when you take real loss. But if you don't sell it, then you're doing what you're going to wait for the market to appreciate in value and sell in profit we also have buy you can as the coin is trading you can buy additional so i guess i need to demonstrate this buy and sell so that you will see how it works 
Then we have margin calls, stop margin call. Stop margin call simply means don't buy, don't use my USDT again. Okay. So if this margin call here is showing, let's say, five, and your margin call is 10, if you off it, it will no longer, even if it moves all the way down, it will not buy. I'm simply telling the board not to buy anymore. So it will just stop the margin calls from buying. So that's the one I explained. This is its strategy mode. Okay, if all warehouse. All warehouse means take profit on all the margin calls. Okay, then so B mode real time settlement simply means take profit individually from the fifth call, just the way I explained initially. Then the sub B mode, okay, simply means sell but don't take profit, don't settle the profit, okay, until it finish all the trade. When the trade now finalize, it will just dump all the profit inside your revenue. Okay, so um, I guess that's all for now. But let me quickly explain this buy and sell. So I'm going to use an active active um, trade. Okay, so as it is now, this um, particular trade is on minus 4, minus 0 0.41. Okay, I'm not going to sell it. But you can decide to sell it manually. But I, don't, I always don't advise for you to sell in floating loss if it's in okay let's get a coin that is in floating profit okay none for now none for now okay so let me just explain it so here we have zero minus can you see that minus zero point four one okay if you want to sell you click on current price okay how many do you want to sell is it hundred percent is it seventy five is it fifty is it twenty five percent of the total buy you can sell part of your um, trading um, capital, okay? But make sure you are selling in profit not and not in loss, okay? Not in floating loss. Yes, that's how it works here, okay? So the next one is buy. Now, as it's trading, I can buy more, okay? Click on come market price, okay? You're simply telling the bot to buy at that current price, okay? So how much, how much do you want to buy? How much do you want to buy? Currently, I have $40 in this trade. So I can decide to say I want to buy 100 more, $100 more, or 100 USDT additional. Just click on confirm. It will buy more and it will reduce my average price. Just like the way the margin call works, where the bot buys automatically. Simple as ABC. Okay. So if you have any question regarding this, just send message or comment. Then I will reply the comment and I will ensure that I answer your question. Okay, so um, that that will be it for this video. If you have any questions I said earlier, send comments. Then um, we also have other videos that will guide you to understand more about um, Real Q itself. We also have another video that talks about an overview of Real Q. So here we have transaction record. Okay, this is where you see as the bot is buying and selling, buying and selling all the way. Okay, it shows all the transaction record. So, guys, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe and also like this video. We really appreciate you so much. So, before I um, end this um, presentation, um, don't forget, we always hold um, discussion on Clubhouse. Clubhouse is an audio social media app that we always um, come together to discuss different issues on Real Q and cryptocurrency in general. So, you can also join us. 12 p.m. Nigerian time to 30 p.m. Okay. So we also have presentation, okay, for technical analysis. You want to know more about what I've just explained, okay? So in the morning by 10 a.m. Nigerian time, you can also join us at that time on Telegram. Okay, I'm going to drop the Telegram link in this description below and then um, just click on it and join us, okay? So we we'll appreciate you and we'll be happy to have you on board. So that will be it for this video. Thank you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you love this content. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.